What is up guys? We're gonna do a tutorial on seated bench leg pulling. I'm gonna show you a demonstration of how I do it. And then after I'm done, we'll go through the execution on how to perform the movement. Now it's time for the execution, so I'm going to show you step by step on how to perform the exercise. First, you're going to take a deep breath. You're going to place your hands behind the bench for support, and then you're going to grip the dumbbell in between your feet. Then you're going to lower yourself down, allow a slight bend in the knees, lean back till your lower back is on, on the bench, and you don't want the dumbbells to touch the floor, but you want it close to hitting the floor. So with this movement, you want to exhale on the way up as you're crunching and at the same time crunch forward and bring your hips up to where your knees are about to, like you're almost about to knee your chest. You want to bring your hips up and your knees to as close as your chest as possible while crunching forward. Now you want to do this in a nice controlled manner, nice and slow. Focus on your breathing, focus on the stretch. Now I'm going to show you a body weight variation if you don't have weights at home or if you're a beginner and you just want to work your way up to weighted leg pull-ins. The concept is still the same, you want to, but this time you want to stretch your toes out forward, no bend in the knee, and you want to exhale on the way out while you're stretching your feet out. For the ab routine, you can do this two to three times a week. And you can switch it up between weighted and body weight exercises. Three to four sets, 12 to 15 reps. And you can include them in a circuit. So that means you could do three different ab exercises all in one shot and then rest two to three minutes or just do back to back weighted with body weight and then rest two to three minutes and you want to repeat this for at least three three to four sets typically two to three times a week is the best for apps 